boys and girls, Miss Fleming here. Today we're going to read The Troll by Julia Donaldson. There was once a troll who lived under a bridge. That's where the trolls are supposed to live. Meanwhile, far out at sea, there were some pirates who lived in a ship. That's where pirates are supposed to live. Trolls are supposed to eat goats, but no goats ever seen trip trapping over the trolls' little bridge. They ate fish instead. But one morning, he heard a faint noise on his bridge. Up he popped, and he said what trolls are supposed to say, which is, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? I'm not trip trapping, I'm scuttling, said a tiny black creature. And I'm a spider. Oh bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have fur, replied the spider. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. <clears throat> You'll make a nice change from fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the spider. Why don't you go further down the river to the next bridge? It's much better for goats. All right then, said the troll. So he sat with his frying pan and his cookie book and off he strode. Pirates are supposed to dig for treasure and these pirates had a treasure map with a ring on it. Between the pantry and the rocks, six foot deep, lies a treasure box. They sailed and they sailed until they reached an island. This is the spot, says Hank Chief. That's the ring. The pirates dug and they dug, but all they found was a grumpy mole. It must be the wrong island, they said. All that digging had made them hungry. It was Ben Buckle's turn to do the cooking. He cooked fish pie. It's soggy, said Percy Patch. It's slimy, said Peg Polka Dot. When you find the gold, you can buy a decent cookery book, said Hank Chief. And they set sail again. The troll was sitting on his new minding sized bridge, reading his cookery book. Suddenly he heard a sound above his head, and up he popped. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge, he roared. Why not trip trapping? I'm paddling, said the furry creature, and I'm a mouse. Oh bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have longer ears, said the mouse. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. I'm getting sick of fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the mouse. Why don't you go down to the next bridge? There are goats trip trapping over that one all the time. Very well, said the troll, and he packed up his things and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates had discovered another island. They dug and they dug, but all that they found was a rusty gold bucket with a crab in it. The wrong island again, they said. That night, Percy Patch did the cooking. He cooked fish soup. It's bony, said Ben Buckle. It's briny, said Peg Polka Dot. If only we could find the gold, we could pay for a proper cookbook, said Hank Chief. The troll was frying fish under his new bridge when he heard a sound above his head. And up he popped. That trip trapping over my bridge, he bellowed. I'm not trip trapping, I'm walloping, said a creature with long ears. I'm a rabbit. Oh bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have hoofs, said the rabbit. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. Anything's better than fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the rabbit. Why don't you walk down to the next bridge? There are herds of goats trip trapping over that one. Are you sure? asked the troll. Once again, he packed up his stuff and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates were digging on a new island. They dug and they dug, but all they found was an old Wellington book with a nest of centipedes in it. Oh. We'll never find the right island, they said. That night, it was Peg Polka Dot's turn to do the cooking. She cooked fish cakes. They're sticky, said Ben Buckle. They're sandy, said Percy Patch. Hank Chief said nothing. He was too busy being sick over the side of the ship. 
the trolled river grew wider and wider. They looked up from the river and it flowed into the sea. The troll found himself on a sandy beach. There isn't another bridge, he said, the rabbit was tricking me. But then he spotted some footprints in the sand. It's a goat at last. He looked round, but he couldn't see any goats. Never mind, it'll probably come back tomorrow, he said. The troll followed the hoofprints. They led him to a spot between a tall palm tree and stood a grot. I know, he thought, I'll dig a pit. Then tomorrow the goat will fall into it and I can eat it. The troll dug and dug with his frying pan. Just when he thought the hole was deep enough, the pan hit something hard. It was a great big chest. Perfect, said the troll. I can hide it here and keep warm. Then when the goat falls into the hole, I'll open the lid and pop up. He lifted the lid. The chest was full of round gold things. I wonder what they are. These are no use to me, he said, and he threw them all into the sea. Then he climbed into the chest and lay down. Tomorrow I can have bread, goat for breakfast instead of fish. He thought that I can trust the dog to sleep. It was dark when the pirates arrived at the next island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. But someone has been digging here already, said Ben Buckle. Don't say they found the treasure before us, said Percy Patch. No, look, here it is, cried Peggy Polka Dot. The chest was heavy. It must be full of gold, said Hank Chief. Quick, back to the ship before anyone spots us. The troll was woken by a loud bang. That's my breakfast falling into the hole, he thought. But why was the chest heaving and swaying? And why was the lid opening? Surely goats couldn't open lids. The lid opened wide, start staring down at the troll were four angry pirates. Where's the gold? shouted Hank Chief. I, I, I threw it into the sea, said the troll. The plank, the plank, yelled Ben Buckle and Percy Patch. Make him walk the plank. The next second, the pirates were pushing him onto it. Who's that trip trapping on my plank? jeered Hank Chief. Oh no, I'm not trip trapping. I'm shuffling, said the troll in a very small voice. I'm a troll. He reached the end of the plank. His knees were knocking. Jump, yelled the pirates. But just then, Peg Polka Dot came along. Came, came along. Wait, she cried. I found something else inside the chest. In one hand she held the troll's frying pan, in the other hand she held his cookery book. Stop! called Hank Chief. He looked at the troll in a new way. Can you cook? he asked. Oh yes, said the troll. Yes, shouted the pirates. Then you can stay, said Hank Chief. Thank you, said the troll, and he shuffled back along the plank. When shall I start? Now, said Hank. The pirates showed the troll the ship's kitchen. The troll grinned. He turned to his favourite page in his cookery book. Shall I make us a nice goat stew, he asked. Goat? Goat? But pirates don't eat goat, said Hank Chief. We want what pirates are supposed to eat. But what's that? asked the troll. Fish, said the pirate chief. Oh no, now the troll's going to have to eat lots of fish. Well, at the end, 